Hey everyone, today's video is entitled Obama Romney. And the reason why it's entitled that is because of the upcoming vote. And I also want to talk about a few other things in this video as well. So I want to ask you to please stay tuned. So if you watch the whole video, that'd be great. But um, I got some notes here so I don't go too far astray. And I, I, I really want to be very uh, clear in this video. So I, I, I took some notes prior to making the video. So Obama, Romney, what is the difference in these two candidates? And obviously Obama is the current president. But um, basically there's not much difference between the two. They are both on the same team. They both have the same agenda. Um, and, and what's kind of weird is that the agenda has been the same for the last nine presidents. Uh, we haven't had a real president since Kennedy, and he was assassinated. And, um, you know, I, I have my reasonings as to why he was assassinated, and that was because he was the last president that stood for the people of this country. And uh, if you want to leave comments or questions, if you want me to clarify that answer, I, I definitely will. But getting back to Obama Romney, I, I think we're in a position where it, it's no win for either one who gets elected. Um, both candidates are anti-gun. And um, they're the same person. It, it doesn't matter who gets elected. The powers that be, the New World Order, um, I strongly feel that they want Obama re-elected. Um, and again, all they're going to do is continue the illegal wars that are going on currently right now in the world. Um, and you know what, what, what kills me is uh, Hillary Clinton talks about the travesties of you know, uh, terrorism and terrorists and Al-Qaeda. And, you know, Hillary talks about how, you know, terrorists kill children and innocent people. Well, how many innocent children, women, and men have we killed with illegal wars? I, I, I can guarantee you it, it's a tremendous amount of innocent people that we have killed through all of the wars and all of the lies about wars that have been started by this country. Um, another thing that, that concerns me is just voting in general. Um, I, I, I myself, I, I was not going to vote, but I, I've changed my mind and I am going to vote. I'm going to vote exactly how I did last presidential election. I voted a straight ticket libertarian. And that's how I'm going to vote this time again, straight ticket libertarian. Um... You know, I, I voted for Bob Barr last time he ran for president. Obviously, he didn't get elected. But, you know, people, you know, people in this country are, are so blind by politics. Um, you know, th these, these, these candidates for the primary are, are hand-picked people. And it's the, 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 the New World Order that kind of displays these people and, and says, okay... These are the six or seven candidates that we're going to allow you to choose from, is, is basically what happens. And in, in, in my honest opinion, there wasn't one single candidate that I, I wanted to get into the White House, possibly an outside chance of Ron Paul, that, that, that'd be about it. But I, I didn't like any of the candidates, any of them, not a single one. And, and I wouldn't have picked any of those candidates to be in the primary. So, so, you know, people really need to wake up to American politics as to how it works. You know, you, you, know, you, are, given, you are given a choice of who to pick from, but those who are chosen to be picked come from a greater power. They don't come from the people, they come from a greater power. And that's what you need to understand and that's what you need to wake up to, is to understand that, that there's a greater power behind American politics and the world politics than just voting. Because your vote doesn't really count for anything. And I'm not talking about the Electoral College either. Okay, I'm talking about the greater powers that run politics and run the world. 
Now, getting back again um, to the vote, uh, what really concerns me is the fact that there is so much widespread power loss from Hurricane Sandy. Still today, I checked today, and still, all the way from New Hampshire, all the way down to Virginia, and back over to Cleveland, Ohio, just like that, that huge triangular area that, that's got New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Ohio, and a whole bunch of other states, Vermont, um, you know, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, all of these states are, are without power in certain areas. Most of them, are, in most of the states, in most of the areas in those states are without power. So my question is, is that the vote is next week, Tuesday. So how are they going to have the vote, and is it going to be a fair vote? But it, again, it doesn't really matter because your vote doesn't count anyway. But again, being without power for so long, it's been three days already, and I've checked the news, people are already going into panic mode because they haven't prepared, they haven't prepped themselves, and they haven't gotten their storage food together like I've been Preaching for the last three years, you've got to have seven to ten days worth of food in your home. Now, again, getting back to the presidents here, um, I, I just don't see a winner here. It doesn't matter who gets elected. It doesn't matter if it's Obama. It doesn't matter if it's Romney. They have the same agenda. And in my honest opinion... I think that the New World Order wants Obama re-elected. I really do. And if Obama is re-elected, I think you're going to see some very radical change over the next four years. It's just my honest opinion, and it's what I firmly believe because it's what, I, it's what I've learned over the last three or four years of being awake and understanding how politics actually works in this country. Your vote doesn't count for anything. It really doesn't. They already know who the president's going to be. Honestly, I think it's going to be Obama.